every fall marks the start of a new school year. While it can be exciting to have a fresh start, the struggle is still real for the ladies. Whether you are trying to catch the eye of the new guy or struggling to find confidence in the locker room, there are a few things they forget to tell you when preparing for back to school. If you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today we are discussing 10 struggles all girls face for back to school. You'll totally agree with one of these nightmare situations. Stay tuned to see what it is. Getting ready for the first day. Everyone has to get ready for school, but the first day of school is particularly special. This is the first time people will see you since the end of the last school year, so you have to make sure you are at the top of your game. From picking out the perfect outfit to making sure your skin is blemish-free, getting ready for the first day of school can get stressful. Not only do you have to deal with the denial that the summer is over, but you're also under pressure to look your best. Then there is the fact that it's two weeks until school starts and you still haven't gone clothing shopping yet. Who knows what will even be left on the rack? Then, when the morning of the first day of school actually arrives, you get a little anxiety. You're trying to put on your makeup and accidentally drop your pressed powder and it shatters into pieces. Or you sneeze while you're doing your mascara and you look like you have a black eye. Whatever happens, you just have to remember to keep calm. At the time, it may seem like the end of the world if you don't get everything just right. But don't worry, you'll be amongst your friends who are all going through the same thing. Enjoy the day and the excitement of a new school year by having confidence in knowing you will totally rock it talking to older peers. If you are a freshman, then one of the biggest anxiety-provoking things is talking to older students. For some reason, there is a preconceived notion that older girls don't like incoming freshman girls. While there may be some truth to that, it isn't a lost cause if you are trying to befriend older students. The good news is, if you can get into their inner circle, it certainly has its benefits. They are the best with relationship advice because they have already been through all the high school relationship drama. Older students can also help you navigate campus like a pro. Not to mention, you'll probably get invited to all the cool parties throughout the year. Then there comes the fact that you might actually have to converse with an older guy. Considering they will be two to three years older than you, it might be your worst nightmare. Mostly because you don't want to say anything that will make you sound like a teeny bopper. Don't worry, older guys are nice and all, but it's best making friends with the girls first. Just be yourself, polite, and don't make it a big deal. Even if you don't make friends with the older crowd, you still have a great circle of friends in your grade. So why worry? That time of the month. Experiencing that time of the month is already a struggle for girls, but having to do so with hundreds of your peers around is even worse. First, you have to pretend like you aren't in the worst pain of your life. Plus, those cute pants you thought you were going to squeeze into won't even zip up because you were so bloated. Then the dreaded bathroom break. This is when you feel like you should go to the restroom for a quick change, but you aren't sure how you are going to transport your sanitary items. Do you stick them in your sleeve? What if you aren't wearing a long sleeve shirt? Then you have to try to stick them in your pocket and pray no one will notice what you are doing. Whatever you do, you can't bring your purse into the bathroom with you in fear that everyone will know you have a meeting with Aunt Flo. If all this wasn't bad enough, you still have to deal with the fact that you might leak through your clothing. That might actually be every girl's worst nightmare. Thankfully, there are a couple of solutions. You can make sure to carry a hoodie with you during this time. That way, if you do have any stains, you can tie the hoodie around your waist to hide it. Or you can leave an extra pair of pants or underwear in your locker during that time of the month. Trust us, you will thank us later. The person who won't take a hint. So a person who has had a crush on you since sixth grade still has their heart set on you. Thankfully, you've been able to avoid them all summer. You know you will eventually run into them at school, but there are ways you can avoid them without being too obvious. First, make sure you know your surroundings. That way you know where the exit is at all times. And if they show up, you have an easy escape. You can also avoid eye contact. If they see you acknowledge them, they will most likely try to start a conversation and it will almost always be awkward. But what happens when you share nearly identical schedules? This this means you are going to have to interact with this person at some point. Though it may be a little hard to be nice, there are ways to make sure this person understands that you just aren't that into them. First, if you haven't already, be direct with this person. Tell them you appreciate that they think you are awesome, but you just don't see them like that. You could also ask a friend to pretend to be your boyfriend-girlfriend. Hopefully, that will make them see that you are taken and they will leave you alone. If all else fails, just keep ignoring them. At the end of the day, you don't owe anyone anything, especially someone who won't get the hint after several have been dropped. Wardrobe Meltdown 
Going back to school means you need to have your wardrobe on point. You also have to make sure you are abiding by the school's dress code. There is nothing worse than showing up thinking you look amazing, then being called to the principal's office because you are unknowingly breaking the rules. This is another reason why it's always good to have a backup outfit in your locker. But what do you do if your outfit is perfectly within the school's rules, but you have a slight meltdown in the middle of the day? From stains to rips, we have a few tricks to keep you covered so you can focus on your studies. First, if you are prone to messes, you should probably avoid light-colored fabrics altogether. But if you still want to rock those pastels, make sure to keep a tied-to-go stick in your locker. This will help you when you drop your slice of pizza on your lap during lunch. Or maybe you want to wear ripped jeans, but you accidentally ripped them more and now you are overexposed. Don't worry, just keep a little sewing kit in your locker. Hopefully you took our advice and have backup pants in your locker. If not, take a break and sneak into the restroom and work with what you have. Or if your school has a home ec class, see if the teacher will help you stitch your jeans back together. Wardrobe meltdowns can be scary, but they aren't the end of the world, especially if you are prepared. Gym Class Struggle so you finally get your new schedule and realize you have gym class in the middle of the day. How on earth are you going to stay fresh throughout the day? You already spent so much time to get ready in the morning, and you now have to do it all over again after gym. Life just isn't fair. Thankfully, there are a few tricks to keep you looking great, even after sweating up a storm in gym class. First, try to prevent sweating after class altogether. You can do so by taking a quick cold shower. If showers aren't available, try using a cold compress. Keep a washcloth in your backpack and run it under a cold water faucet. Apply the washcloth to the back of your neck and underneath your arms and you will cool down in no time. Now, if you simply can't avoid sweating, you are still in luck. If you want to revive limp, greasy locks, try using some dry shampoo on your roots. This will help boost your hair's volume as well as banish any unpleasant odor. If your school has hand dryers, try using one to dry your hair. It may sound crazy, but at least you won't be walking around with a sweaty mane. To get rid of body odor, minus the shower, bring some refreshing wipes to school. Use them on your face and underarms. Arms. Always make sure to bring your deodorant and give yourself a splash of perfume or body spray before heading out the door. Lunchroom Dilemma It's never easy starting at a new school. One of the biggest worries is trying to find where to sit in the cafeteria. You are probably used to sitting with the same group of friends, but now it's just you. Or you are at the same school, but now all your friends have a different lunch period than you. This can be a tough situation, but don't worry, it doesn't have to be all that bad. You can try to make the best of your lunchroom dilemma. If you aren't ready to be social with new people on the first day of school, just try eating alone. This may seem like a social no-no, but it really isn't so bad. You will have to do it at one point in your life, so you might as well test it out now while you're still in school. Most schools offer many places to eat lunch, like outside or in the library. Move around until you see what works for you. If you fancy yourself a more social person, push yourself to meet new people at lunch. You can do so by introducing yourself to two to three strangers every day or until someone sticks. Yes, it will be awkward and people might look at you funny, but that just means you can move on to the next person. Don't take any rejection personally. You are putting yourself out there and who knows, maybe you will make a new best friend. New Guys Showdown One of the most exciting things about going back to school is meeting all the new students. And if one of them happens to be a cute new guy, you can bet he will get a lot of attention. As soon as you see the cute new guy, you probably start daydreaming about him asking you out. This is because there is a certain mystery that surrounds new students. You don't know anything about them, so they become more appealing. The problem is you aren't the only girl who has this cutie on their radar. In fact, there is a pretty good chance every girl is going to be for his attention. So what can you do to stand out? The best way to catch his eye is by figuring out what makes you unique. Are you friendly? Do you have stellar style? Or is it your sense of humor that makes you shine? Whichever it may be, use it to your advantage when he is around. If you have great style, make sure to step it up a notch so he notices that you take pride in looking good. If you have jokes, try to save the best ones for when he is around. Whatever you do, don't try too hard. If the new guy is going to like someone, it's going to be because they are themselves. So do you and always stay true to yourself. Locker Room Confidence if going to gym class wasn't already hard enough, having to change in front of other people makes it twice as hard. There are many reasons why you might be insecure about your body, and nowhere is that more apparent than in a school locker room. What's really confusing is that some girls have all the confidence in the world. They have perfect bodies and have no problem showing them off after gym class. How do they do this, and where do they get all this confidence? Well, there are a few tricks to remember if you want to stop worrying and have locker room confidence yourself. First, you have to remember everyone is different. Even if you feel 
feel insecure about something, someone else may not even notice it. Plus, chances are they have insecurities of their own. So don't put so much pressure on yourself. Also, you should respect other people's privacy. Just like you wouldn't want anyone staring at you, you shouldn't stare at them either. Seriously, it's awkward for everyone, so just relax. If you are overly concerned, just give yourself some privacy. You can do so by waiting until everyone leaves or simply changing in a bathroom stall. No, you won't have a lot of space, but at least you won't have to deal with everyone's eyes on you. Unexpected twinning It's the first day of school and you spent weeks preparing for the perfect first day outfit. Or you got the coolest new backpack or back to school gear, only to find out that someone else is rocking the exact same thing. This means you are a victim of unexpected twinning. You may be able to pull it off with your best friend, but what happens if you don't even know the person? You can of course laugh it off or you can make a quick change to avoid an embarrassing social situation. Or you can avoid it altogether. If you want to make sure to have a one-of-a-kind outfit on the first day of school, stay away from department stores. They are convenient and have tons of options, but there is a pretty good chance everyone is shopping there. Instead, try flea markets or vintage stores. They have gently used clothes and they are budget friendly. You can also make an outfit your own by accessorizing it. Even if someone has the same basics as you, you'll stand out because you brought the outfit together better. From the way you do your hair to what jewelry you wear, there are several ways to make an outfit your own. Finally, if all else fails, own it. Take a selfie with your new twin and and upload it to Instagram and show off what incredible style you both have. How many of these struggles have you had to deal with? React in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe to The Taco.